you would think that an enzyme in the cell couldn't be specific, couldn't respond specifically to our psychological states. How could it be sensitive to thoughts and feelings? It's so far removed. But the data is looking like there are these intimate links. There's an enzyme discovered by Elizabeth Blackburn, uh, who won the Nobel Prize for this discovery, an enzyme called telomerase. So this enzyme is very interesting to us. It is looking like it is responsive to our thoughts and emotions. So for example, we've done a study where we had people um, give a speech in front of an audience that was stony-faced and they weren't smiling and nodding. We're used to people giving us positive regard. But when they had to do this speech, this is a standard stressor. It's called the Trier Social Stress Test. This is a way that we know that stress mediators, cortisol and sympathetic activity, go way up and then way back down. So we wanted to know if this affected the enzyme telomerase, and in fact it did. So during this lab stressor, telomerase shot way up in most of the subjects. So this is very interesting that the cells are, in a sense, listening to our stressful bodily states, to our thoughts, and then probably to the chemical changes in our body during stress. The tendency to wish that you were physically somewhere else or were doing something else. This was related to shorter telomeres and the tendency to be very engaged and focused and absorbed in what you're doing was related to longer telomeres. So this, was, this really blew us away. We were really surprised that this one item, well actually these two items were both independently related to telomere length.